It definitely feels special. And um, I've said it many times, each team each year is different. No matter how many returning players you have, no matter how many experienced players you have, you always have somebody on your team that's never experienced it before. And it's fun to watch the look on their face. It's fun to watch the excitement, um, you know, within their bodies and, and just, it's new for a, a lot of people every year. And um, it is, a, as Melissa said, it's fun to stay in the state of Texas. It's fun that a lot of them's parents and families will be here. Um, and um, we're, we're just, we're ready to play. We've been here a long time, we're ready to play. Like if anybody knows my family, like if we weren't in a bubble, they would be right at this hotel with me every five minutes. So it's a real different feeling that I kind of got to get used to, but I know they're going to be at the games loud and proud. Um, I live like probably like 12 minutes away from here. So it's kind of right down the street. So, I mean, my family and friends are coming to all my games. So that's very exciting. Uh, yeah, for sure. I mean, it is home for me, so it does have that home-like feeling. <laughs> so, I mean, just being in Texas, um, the next couple of rounds when our fans are able to come, they could travel here. It's just going to be a great feeling. Um, You know, exciting. I think me and Moon, we were super, you know, we weren't stressed, but we were a little nervous about, you know, the Big 12. And I think that's what, you know, makes this team or, you know, playing under Coach Mulkey so, you know, special is that, you're constantly hungry for more and you're constantly hungry to, you know, continue a legacy that has been, you know, set before you. So I'm just happy I was able to continue it. I think we're there. I'm kidding. Um, we're, we're excited, you know, Oh, let's tell me to stop saying, you know, so I'm trying to stop saying, you know, but, <laughs> <laughs> um, we're, I think our team is, you know, we're going shoot. We're going in the right direction as to being like the team that, is playing well and you know with confidence so i'm gonna stop talking because i keep saying you know and i'm getting irritated so go ahead this <laughs> uh to piggyback off of that i feel like we're actually becoming a team that we wanted to be over the years i mean we've practiced a lot we've gone over all the scout everything so i feel like tournament time is where you're supposed to show up and i feel like our team is very ready like to play in these games ditto <laughs> Well, I do think experience matters. Uh, I think uh, when you have older players that have played in the NCAA tournament, I think they have a memory. Uh, they're not phased by much. Um, the season being different with COVID and the pauses and all those things, we've dealt with it for months. So um, it's not anything really new since we've been doing it for so long. But my knowledge has nothing to do with experience. My knowledge is going to be uh, address and, and make decisions through the course of the tournament that um, help our team win a ball game. I don't know how many of those decisions will um, dictate how the, the outcome of the game will be because I, I believe this, at this stage of the season, players make plays and those are the teams that win. We left um, uh, Tuesday, my days are running together. We left Tuesday. Um, about 5 p.m. and uh, checked in the hotel. And then we um, went to the convention center. We walked um, to get COVID test. And not all of us have to COVID test. Those of us who are still within the 90 day window after having COVID do not have to test. And so every day has been a COVID test. We had to remain in the rooms, the hotel rooms for two days. And then yesterday, we were able to get out and practice for the first time. And then um, today we practice, but it's eating COVID test. And we've now been cleared to go to a room um, to watch film. And I guess we can eat in that room as long as we're six feet apart as well. I see a very uh, well coached team. I see a team that uh, just plays hard. I see a team that uh, won the SWAC, lost one game. I see a team that uh, played a good non-conference schedule. They lost, um, you know, some of those games, um, but we expect to see a team that's um, hungry, a team that uh, embraces the opportunity to play us, and uh, we're, we're going to go out there and, and play as if, you know, it's the last game of this season. No, we can't go. It's my understanding the first and second round games, the only people allowed in the arena are people that are on coaches and players pass list. 
and then as you progress to the, <clears throat> excuse me, the regionals and the final four, I think they'll open tickets up more into the public. Um, we will scout from TV. We will scout from, you know, like we always do prior games and all the things that we have. There's a lot of film and footage available. I, you know, I think I can speak for the whole team. We say we're just really, we're just excited. You know, we're just happy that the tournament is still going and that COVID hasn't really, you know, it slowed us down. Yes, but it hasn't stopped anything. At the end of the day, we're just happy to be playing basketball. And I think that's, you know, the bigger picture that we're tending to look at right now.